Hi, right, on this occasion, I want to talk to you about Brexit and what they've called is buyer's remorse. So, as you know, uh, if you've been watching the news, there is this commentary now where some people are regretting their vote. They've voted either to, st to uh, probably, it's probably going to be, they voted to leave, and now that we've left and voted to leave, and that's going to happen, uh, I suspect, I don't think they're going to have a second referendum of things, they, ha they are regretting it because they voted it as maybe a, the commentary suggests as a, a bit of a wake-up call to the government, a wake-up call to politicians, a wake-up call to the EU, and unfortunately enough people gave them a wake-up call uh, and we're now out of the EU, which is, you know, it's a decision and, you know, we are uh, in the UK a very resourceful uh, nation, uh, you know, I I believe that we could sort anything out, albeit it may take you know, five to ten years to get it to get it back to where we were and, and onwards. But you know the future is a long time. Right? So uh, I think anything is possible. So I'm one of those people that you know there is opportunity everywhere. So this thing about buyer's remorse is a very common thing in your in small in every business. Uh, I know it happened to me just recently. I, I bought a, a, a new car a couple of months ago, uh, six months ago, and I went in and I signed the deal. And I remember thinking as I walked out, was that the right car? Should I have signed it for that much money? You know, did I really need it? You know, all that sort of stuff. And that's, that's if you feel like, buyer's remorse. And it, unless you've got the, uh, the most uh, simple rudimentary purchase, like, you know, you're going to do your weekly shop, you're going to expect to your customers, your patients, your your clients to have this thing called buyer's remorse. And how you deal with that can really establish a solid relationship much quicker with your new client, patient, customer. Because uh, if you, you accept that there will be a large number of people who buy from you for the first time who will feel this buyer's remorse, they'll think, did I make the right choice? Uh, you know, was this the right the right company to go with? Was this the right service to buy? Uh, you know, will it be okay? Will I get what I want? So will they give me great value? Your task at the moment they agree to buy is to give them as much reassurance as you possibly can at that moment that they've made the right choice. Demonstrate to them in some way, which, which is right for your business, how they've made the right choice, why they've made the right choice, and how it's going to be fine. In our business, for example, we as soon as they they agree to either sign up with our profit multiplier program if they are consulting clients, or sign up to our accounting firm if they're accounting clients, or both, uh, within uh, um, less than an hour, they get offered uh, a strategy session or a, a review of their tax position or a review of their customer journey, something quick. Uh, that shows them that we are right on it and that we really mean business because at the moment they've said yes they're in that stage where going well you know there was, there, was a, there was a toss up between this company and another company and I don't know whether I made the right decision to pick Gordon or his businesses uh, and my job and my business's job is to make is to put their mind at rest that we are the right people that picked us for the right reason they've done their research and now we're going to demonstrate to them very quickly one or two elements of our service that will demonstrate how reliable we are, how good we are, how trustworthy we are, how proactive we are, how action orientated we are, whatever it is. And uh, that, that in itself uh, gets rid of buyer's remorse very quickly. Now, with Brexit, we couldn't have buyer's remorse uh, removed too easily because it appears we didn't really have a plan for what happens next. There was too much rhetoric about uh, staying or leaving, and uh, there wasn't enough detail, to my mind, available for the population to make a, a really good decision, uh, uh, not a good decision, an informed decision. And uh, you know, there's a whole load of examples, but I won't touch on now. Uh, whether you were staying or leaving, it made no difference. There just wasn't enough good information, because it is a very complex problem. So buyer's remorse for this one, uh, how can you, how do you factor that in into your business? Do you factor it into your business? If you don't, uh, I highly recommend you should. And if you do, 
I think you'll find your clients build trust much more quickly. They'll begin to refer you much more quickly. They'll begin to uh, rely on your knowledge, wisdom, and services much more quickly. So hopefully that all uh, helps you get your business moving a little bit quicker, a little bit smoother. We have you know, there's hundreds of these things that, that we work on in the Profit Multiplier program that have the potential to do that. So until we speak again, uh, don't forget, link to it, uh, share it if you like it, and, uh, and comment on it. You know, tell other people about it who, who you think might uh, benefit. Uh, sometimes people share it with their suppliers because they want a better supply chain, and, and by sharing some of this stuff, it helps their suppliers give them a better service. It's, it's really cool. So I'll speak to you on the next uh, Brexit for Business uh, connotations and similarities on the next blog. Cheers. Goodbye.